I feel like I can be so many things on a stage that society does not let me be in life. On my worst days, my first instinct is like, I want to move my body, I want to express things, I want to go to the dance studio. Humans need to, to express themselves. Um, we need to enjoy our lives. I grew up in a very, very racist area in Minnesota. Everyone was really a part of the upper class and like I was one of the two African-American individuals of the school with like 1,500 kids. And so no one really knew how to deal with me. And like we'd do shows where there would be people or supposed to be roles for people of color, but she wouldn't cast them as such. And then there was a day when I, I asked her, I was like, why don't you ever cast me anything? Because I'm not, I'm not bad. Like I, I knew I wasn't terrible. And she was like, because there's no room for people of color in these shows. It's always right before I go to sleep. I take my radio out from under my pillow and I put it away and lie there. Close my eyes. It's sort of like dreaming, but I'm awake too. So my freshman year of college, I was a complete mess. Like it wasn't even just anxiety anymore. It was, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I tried out for a dance team and then I didn't make it. And then that totally started my spiral because I was like, I tried, I failed, what's next? I came into the university level wanting to go into the fashion industry and then slowly realized that that just wasn't really the path that I wanted to go down. Um, so I went and switch to art education. As a teacher, you look at your students creating art and it's a way to learn about them other than having a conversation. I think art in the school setting is social practice. Engaging with other students while creating art or learning how to do something alone. I mean, now it's, it's easy because I learned to accept my failures and that it doesn't define me whatsoever, but it took a while to get there. My mom got uh, diagnosed with cancer once I was 15 and passed away. When she was like more on like her deathbed, she was like, you should do what you love. Like, I want you to do what you love. And if that's what you love, then you should pursue that. Shadowland, the leaves have fallen. Once she passed away, I transferred schools and I moved into the city and started doing more theater. And so I auditioned for a show and got a role in hair. And that was kind of what jump started my career. And I also have like this whole other side where it's like art for me and I do it for myself. And the art that I do for myself is so much different than the art that I do with the children. My style of artwork has a lot to do with the female body. I think the female body is absolutely beautiful. My friends came over and came into my bedroom and I said I love the female body and I paint a lot of the female body. And they came to a room and they were like, there's boobs everywhere. <laughs> like, it's just naked women all over in all your artwork. I want to pave a way for people who are me. Growing up, I never saw people on stage that were like me. I never saw people in movies that were like me. I just, I want there to be a space for people that look like me and not have to play the stereotype that has been put out for us our entire lives. But now I'm on the legal track because this country not a black and only women have the guts to go and take it back. We'll make the government complain and get more people voting green and really stick it to the ballot war machine. When you're writing something, it takes a while to think about how you want to say it, what you want to say. So in the studio, it's the same way. It's like you put something out, you delete it, you take it back, you change it, you edit it. But through all of that, it feels so good to release all of that energy that I have. I want to go um, after the, I go to school for art education and go into the school system. I want to go back and get my master's and do psychology and I want to do art therapy. When I become an art therapist one day, I want to 
work with people that have physical disabilities, but also mental, social, emotional. I would love to work in indie film in London or in California or Georgia. I want to be an elementary school teacher, and I know that's totally unrelated to dance, but dance enables me to have the confidence to believe in myself that I can change someone's life. My name is Katie Lehman. I'm Brooke. I'm Michaela McAsee. I'm, I'm an, an artist. artist.